Steps are being taken to reintroduce these blue iguana back into the wild. Better than, better in the wild than my bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. You taking one of them blue iguanas home? Nick? I don't think so. I'll admire them from a distance. And that's what Ravello's been doing with Ward. The good news for Ravello, no sign, at least that we know of, that there's anything wrong with his right hand, which has been fractured five times. The bad news, he's not landing his right hand, so what difference does it make? Yeah, exactly. Nice right hand from Ward there. Ward getting free shot after free shot, beating Ravello to the punch. And, and I talked about Ravello's right hand. You know, when he's moving back, which he's doing now when Ward punches, he has no chance of setting himself to land that right hand. So yeah. his options are basically down to zero. That's so well put. Running around is not going to win this round. He's bewildered. At least he tried a right hand there and may have partially landed it. I got to give it to Ward. You know, Ward could play it safe. He could win from outside, never get in any kind of danger. He could just outbox this guy all night, but he's been inside. And in front of Ravello, he's turned well. He's, but still, he's been a target. He's willing to trade with this guy all night. Right hand as Ravello tries to start behind an ineffective double jab. Now it's Ward. He likes to do that. Go to the body with the jab. Very few body shots in this fight, Steve. Yeah, when they've been in close, it's been wrestling. Good point, really. Ward, Ward, everything's been up top. You know, he's an interesting fighter because he, he's more boxer than puncher. But he said something interesting at the fighter meetings. He said, I'm formless. I don't really have a style. Yeah, I think he spoke to his energy, you know, and his level, the fact that... Uh, that he could just adjust on the fly very well and that he's got no, 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 multi-dimension. And I would agree. Hands up, hands now, up. Ravello, two right hands all around, only two. Is his right hand okay? I don't know. He, he wasn't throwing it that much before this round. That's the only reason I would think that maybe there's nothing wrong. Well, he's not throwing his left much. He did try to flip the jab, and now it's a NFL game. And that's the fifth time Ravello's been on the floor from either a push or a slip. Hot and human here in the Caribbean show box coming to you from Grand Cayman. Nick Charles with Steve Farhood. Happy to with us. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Ward misses that left hook. He's taking some liberties now, but boy, he's quick. Moving real well. Ravello is the guy holding on, backed into a corner. Bad round for Jerson Ravello. And they need to take a serious look and have a serious talk. Because it looks like a shutout. How about you, Steve? Shutout, 70-63 after seven rounds. Imagine at the end like that. He sees that. That's all he got left to get away from that, okay? Be smart, be elusive, beat him up, and stop him with skill, okay? No, not a dumb no. wrecking truck, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, not a wrecking truck. Come by the jam, beat him up, and beat him up with skill. Just keep touching him, okay? When he start ducking down and everything like that, drop the cork on him, bring the shot. Action from round seven. Virgil Hunter wants Ward on the outside. You see him running in. It looks a little sloppy. It is a little sloppy, but no price to pay. And a one-two there. Ravello just didn't react. No head movement, gloves down. We head to the eighth, and Ward is ready to unleash. He meets Ravello. He's in the middle before Ravello could get there. It's been that way round after round. Little elbow. Hey, from don't punch, don't Ward. punch. Step, 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 step. Uh, Virgil Hunter wants Ward to play it a little safe. Don't give uh, Ravello a chance to get lucky. Well, the corner hey, men in Ravello. Uh, Mouthpiece out now, Steve. Uh, yeah. Whoa! No, I don't know what. Now that it's was. in round four. <laughs> in uh, four, 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 I mean, yeah. hey, don't punch! Don't punch! Step, step, step. Eight rounds or more, new territory for Andre Ward. Ravello, plenty of times. Uh, Steve R Ward looks like he can go 25 rounds. This is a sparring session for him. Oh, and he was hit. 
really in retreat. He was trying to save himself for Bellows. Hey, first rule of the ring, protect yourself at all times. Sticking uh, your head between the ropes isn't doing that. This isn't doing that. War just able to do what he wants. Bello has no answer, no clue. Runs into a left hand there. Uh, it's just he is having a fight sapped out of him. Look at Ward just feigning Ravello into retreat without throwing a punch. Now you got to start taking a look. Steve Smoker is. Ravello leans on Ward. I think his corner should be taking a look, Steve. Ravello's eyes look good, his legs don't. Now he's throwing back ineffectively, but at least trying to mount some kind of offense. He looked bad there in the eighth. That was a barrage from Andre Ward. Now what do you do, Steve? You know, they want him to, they want Ward to, as you say, now Ravello looks bad again. Ward wants to go for it. His corner said to play it safe. What would you do? Well, they, they don't want him to play it safe. They just don't want him to uh, rush in. I mean, right now we can't miss. Uh, right hand. Ravello looked ready, you said, with the legs. Trying to get up. Uh, full of fight, but a mistake. Walk to me. All right. Get back in the car. Get back. Precious seconds for Ravello. He's not going to get out of this round, it looks like. Here comes the firepower. Ravello's corner throws in the towel. Ravello's corner just to the left of us hurled that towel in. And we were saying that, Steve, that his corner better take a cold, hard look at reality. And the inconvenient truth that his their man had nothing to threaten, let alone beat Andre Ward. Exactly right. Ward consoling Ravello. He has a lot of respect for him. Two fights tonight, both stopped by the corners, and I think both justifiably so. We had that graphic up, never been uh, past seven Ward, so it took him into the eighth, and man, did he take care of business. There's the loser, Jerson Ravello. Not much of a show from him tonight. Seems odd to say, but as it turned out, Nick, Jerson Ravello's only chance to win was in about the first 30 seconds of the fight. So it's over at 2.37 of the eighth. Jerson Ravello, all that promise that looks like it's going to go Mayor, unfulfilled. That was for you, baby girl. That was for you, Matt Malachi, Andre, my wife Tiffany. Happy birthday, Bob. I give God all the glory. He gave me the strength to do what I did. But well, I love you guys. Antonio. It's all about that man tonight, Andre Ward. Again, what a blueprint. You know, first he went to catch Ravello Cole, then he boxed him, then he increased the volume of shots, and then he ramped up the pressure and was chasing Ravello down, and he broke him down and took him out, didn't he? All right, we're going to look at round eight here. It's a one-two, actually more of a left hook right hand combination. That first punch blinded Ravello. He didn't see the right hand coming. That's why it had the effect that he did. He barely beats the count. Smoker's at nine. And, and you could tell Smoker came very close to stopping the fight here. And it was right about that point where that first follow-up punch landed flush. That the corner stood up, took the towel, tossed it into the ring. Referee does not have to acknowledge that, but most referees do, of course. Smoker was right on it, wasn't he? Watch, left hook, right hand. Now Ward really stepped in with that right hand. Beautiful punch. And Ravello just not protecting himself, really, from early in the fight till later. It was just a matter of time. Ravello moving, trying to slip punches. He's still taking shots. Nothing coming back. And believe me, if that towel hadn't come in the ring, Smoger would have been in there momentarily. Jerson Ravello is finished. Andre Ward is now 16 and 0 as we go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 37 seconds in round number 8. A referee in charge, Steve Smoger, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the new NABO Super.
super middleweight champion, Andre S.O.G. Ward. In California's Andre Ward did just about everything right in his match.